The title of the project is In Vitro Study of Anti-Diabetic Activity, Anti-Inflammatory and Antimicrobial Activity Using Traditional and Medicinal Plants. The aim of our project is to perform a anti-diabetic activity of our plant extracts. Our plant extracts are namely four leaf samples or Agil Mormulos, Osimum Teniflorum, Coriandrum Sativum and Trigonola Phonum Graecum. In these plant extracts, various secondary metabolites are available which are obtained using phytochemical screening. These secondary metabolites are such as flavonoids, alkaloids, phenols, tannins, saponins, etc. The antimicrobial activity was performed using our leaf extract. Saponin is the main secondary metabolite which is responsible for the antimicrobial activity. Whereas in anti-diabetic activity, flavonoid is responsible for the anti-diabetic activities. And in case of the anti-inflammatory activity, flavonoid is again responsible for the anti-inflammation process. In the glucose diffusion method, the glucose is getting diffused from the dialysis back to the weaker solutions. Whereas the movement of concentration from higher to lower is the basic procedure behind that. The antidiabetic method is based on the glucose diffusion process. The fresh leaf samples were collected from the Thirunindravur of Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Then the sample has been screening under using phytochemical screening, whereas various tests such as alkaloids, flavonoids were performed. Then the samples were given to the laboratory for FTR analysis. In the FTR analysis, the functional group of the sample was identified. The functional group such as phenols, benzene rings, flavonoids, etc., has been identified. Then, in the anti-diabetic test, the fresh leaves were taken and the glucose extract was used in the in vitro methods. The aqueous solutions using CMC of D-glucose and NaCl was mainly performed. Then, the DNSA were color reagent added to the sample. Then, we have to take the OD under 575 nanometer. Whereas the GDRI percentage is calculated, GDRI is nothing but the glucose diffusion retardation index. Okay, mm, mm. that percentage is mainly responsible for the anti diabetic activity. The GDRI percentage has the formula which is equal to 100 minus glucose content with addition of sample milligram per deciliter by glucose content of the control milligram per deciliter into 100. Then anti inflammatory activity. Anti-inflammatory activity is nothing but the taking our uh, samples in a various concentration in a tube and we adding PBS and BSA to the solutions and incubated room temperature and uh, incubated water bath, <coughs> centrifuge at 4000 rpm, then we collect the superintendent and uh, see the OD at 660 nanometer. In this anti-inflammatory activity, the glucose bond is equal to G1 minus G6 by weight of the sample into volume of the solution, which is nothing but control by sample into control. <coughs> Then in the antimicrobial activity, there are antibacterial and antifungal have taken. In the antibacterial activity, gram positive and gram negative bacteria are taken such as Bacillus subtilis and E. coli respectively. In the fungi, Trichoderma polysporum are taken as a fungal activity culture. The disc um, the diffusion method were used in this antimicrobial activity whereas the zone of incubation was formed after 24 hours. In the antibacterial activity, <coughs> antibacterial activity, whereas in the antifungal activity too, <coughs> ketogonosal were used as a positive control in fungal, whereas tetracycline is used as a positive control in antibacterial diabetic uh, property, antibacterials. Then the FDA RNIC shows the functional group of the compounds, phenols, etc. Thus, we conclude from this project is that Agil Mormulos, which is responsible for the higher anti diabetic activity than rest of the above, 
whereas in anti diabetic active whereas in anti fungal activity coriandrum sativum is certainly used then in anti bacterial activity hazel marmalos and also in tenfurum are used as an gram negative and gram positive fungi uh, bacteria and in anti inflammatory activity both hazel marmalos and trigonella phonum grecum shows the higher antibiotic active anti inflammatory activity than others okay thus from this project we conclude hazel marmalos is the best known traditional medicinal and medicinal plant which is available at the doorstep and easily eradicate the diabetes and is highly beneficial than the isolated insulin and secreted which is from the pig